If you're watching this, I'm dead.
bit yet before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them. One by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. And he was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice 
and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. Alfred. What you'd expect. Took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. He asked for some time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Jacob Kane give the eulogy. He offered. He thought it'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. All that talk about a protector who works behind the scenes. If he only knew. Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected. I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. Here's something else she doesn't know. She has the body of Batman's killer in her morgue. Rachel Ghoul is listed as a John Doe, slated for cremation. And what if the League of Shadows finds him? If they drop their dear leader in a Lazarus pit, he won't be so dead anymore. You want to break into the GCPD headquarters for a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over, but did I get everything? It doesn't look complete. I think Raish interrupted him while he was writing. He says this has implications that could shake Gotham to its core. Ominous, but not exactly helpful. I saw a few places we should poke around. Construction sites and quarry. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? He's a zoologist at Gotham University. Not sure what his connection is, though. Let's divide up the work. We can meet at the Belfry when we're done. Get it up and running. Who gets to talk to Langstrom?
positive ID on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the morgue. Once we can get at the data, we can figure out what our next move is. I'm going out. I'm not gonna sit and wait for whatever this shit is. We're waiting for intel, Jason. Once we have it, then we'll go. <sighs> move. I'm gonna solve this case my way. wanted us to work this together. Whatever. That's making this harder than it has to be, kid. I guess, since we're waiting anyway, we might as well take another look at what Bruce had on Langstrom. Crap. That must have been the secondary breaker. The primary went out months ago. I thought the backup would hold. I got it. No need. I've put in a small fix that should hold for a while. Wasn't sure you were coming, Alfred. I'll always be here when you need me, Master Richard. When any of you need me. I'm glad you're here. 
As am I, Master Tim. This place does need work. Damn it! We've got activity all over the city. Sweet. Looks like my plan wins. Hold up. We still need the intel. And Alfred can't exactly set this place up alone. Indeed, Miss Gordon. I have a list of supplies we'll need. I could do it on my own, but it would be faster if I had help. You can count on us, Alfred. We'll divvy it up. Let's finish what Bruce started. All right. Okay, lab notes, formulas, financial records, research into hearing loss, human experimentation and trials? That looks like cash payouts to volunteers. I recognize some of these jerks. They're all known gang members. So Langstrom was doing medical experiments on criminals. You're crowding me. Miss Gordon. The hollow imaging system is back online as of this morning. Perfect timing, Alfred. Hey, I forgot how sweet your setup was, Babs. It's ancient, but it'll do for now. You and Master Bruce are the only two people in the entire world who would consider the Belfry systems ancient. While researching Langstrom, I also called up all we've got on... our party crasher. Talia Al Ghul. She was a match for Master Bruce in more ways than one. Her presence in Gotham is concerning. So is the fact that she torched her old man's body. Be sure that was Ra's al Ghul? His DNA was all over the weapon she left behind. I wonder why she didn't take a chance and use a Lazarus pit to revive him. Well, Batman would just find Talia and ask her himself. Good thinking. Yeah, I can double check Talia's kunai for trace materials that we can track. We should also hit the streets, find out if anyone had any beef with Langstrom. Sweet. Time to bust some skulls. Like Doc? Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night, expecting Bruce to call me for help. And then I remember. I thought it might have been one of you calling just now. I was worried. Old habits, I suppose. You and Bruce probably did that every night when I thought I was out on my own. Didn't you? I can't be like him, Alfred. But I can't go back to how I used to be. Bruce showed me a path, and I'm sticking with it. And I'll be here to support you. Gotham is in good hands. I mean, she's one. Talia! You know you're not welcome in Gotham. Pack up your league and go. I'm not their commander. They cast me out. Huh. 
You want me to believe Raish's daughter didn't inherit the job after his death? Because destroying his body isn't suspicious at all. My late father insisted Bruce would be the next head of the League, despite his refusal. Since that ill-fated duel, all the League can agree on is carrying out Raish's mission. If Bruce was Raish's heir, why did Raish kill him? That makes no sense. I agree. It was an irrational whim. I warned him the Batman would be his downfall. But repeated exposure to the Lazarus Pits breaks down a subject's mind. Eventually, their true self is erased. So, instead of giving Raish another chance at resurrection, you stabbed and burned what was left of his body. Consider it a logical choice. A painless end for him, and closure for the League. And for me. <laughs> now they want me dead. Well, we both got what we wanted. You can go now. I have other matters to attend to. The funeral was tasteful. I'm sure Bruce would have appreciated it. Don't. Pull the Widow and Orphan Act with me. You still haven't answered my question. No, but I can ask you one. Why would an apprentice to the cow break into the morgue? I know you weren't following me. It's an ongoing investigation. Ongoing? Left behind by Bruce. I wish you the best of luck. You'll be needing it soon. Because once the League regains its footing, Gotham will be in its sights. So Harley contacted Batman using, I don't know, a homing pigeon and a USB drive? And that's how we got this video? Help? Do we think it's legit? Bruce never talked to me about it. When Bruce worked with criminals, he didn't exactly keep us in the loop. Yeah, it's not you, Tim. But it's also not crazy to think that Harley made this up. Just play it. Then we'll know. Ever since, you know, her ex. Killed me? Isn't that what you meant? Rumor has it she did some government thing. Went straight. Ish. She's got something. Then we go find Harley. Now. I was just thinking of that time we all made dinner together, and Tim got tomato sauce all over Bruce and Babs. <laughs> I don't remember that. What? No, you have to. It was the same year. You know what? Never mind. Dumb story anyway. Well, I could tell you a story. It's about being dead, then brought back to life by a pit of mind-altering goo. Hey. I didn't mean that. I don't know what's worse. Having a chunk of my life taken away from me, or coming back to everyone thinking I'm gonna snap. I'm sorry, Jason. We shouldn't have... I shouldn't have treated you like an outsider. I 
my god, you're such a boy scout. No wonder you were the first. to ask you to visit earlier. Batman had you working on something. I need to know what. Wait a second. This means the bats is dead. For real. Well then. some criminals on account of my being a brilliant psychiatrist I read your old papers it's kind of a shame you turned criminal hey I am NOT a criminal I'm misunderstood right so what were you doing for Batman then everything is in this book. But I'm missing my peace stay resistance. I need you to follow up on this here card. down in records. Okay. Bye. <clears throat> ah. You're back. Flatgate really needs to go digital. I get that you're Harley Quinn, but you could have just handed it to me. Charlie's been busy. Where do we even start with this? Hmm? Playing with a ghost, Alfred?
You might say that. I'm finishing my last game with Bruce. I couldn't save our board from the manor, but I do have our notes. We tracked each move. To continue the game, if one of us was ever... away. Are you winning? Playing as Bruce, I can't see how he loses. Bruce is dead. Maybe he wins your game, but without him, we've lost. I'm not so sure about that. Not so sure he's dead? Not so sure we've lost. Bruce played an important role. But he never saw himself as the only piece in play. profiled some seriously antisocial prisoners here. Look, something's going on at Blackgate. We lean on that warden, we're set. No, these records go back centuries, man. The warden's new. Now she's involved. How did I miss this? Oh, right. Harley's stupid system makes no sense. Babs, what did you figure out? They all got out on appeal. That's what Harley was tracking. In every case, key witnesses were murdered. Look, they were all pinned up with knives, just like Langstrom. Bruce is on to something. Oh? I think I've got something. Oswald Cobblepot, the Penguin. He's like everyone else in here. Except he served his sentence every single time he was arrested. Someone must have hung him out to dry. Might be he's willing to talk. He runs the Iceberg Lounge now. Claims he went legit. <laughs> he definitely runs more than liquor through that bar. I wouldn't know. That man would never take me. <laughs> if you wanted a fake ID, Tim, all you had to do was ask. Oswald's dangerous. And we can't forget, Harley's still out there. We have to be careful. Relax, dick. We got this. That door's sandalwood. Custom job. Fixing it's gonna be a pain in the ass. I'll get out of your hair after you answer some questions. Smile. Viral video of you assaulting a reformed citizen is the last thing you need right now. Reformed. Huh, I should give Blackie more credit. Must have been lonely doing your time without your friends. Hmm. Someone's done their homework. I want to know who busted them out and why. If you really want to go down this rabbit hole, you need to know there's no coming back from it. That doesn't scare me. I'm gonna spell this out for you. With the back gone, you're not worth my time. Get lost. Hmm. Penguin refused to talk. It's like he doesn't take us seriously. You may be surprised to learn Batman struggled with similar challenges early in his career. So for a time, he focused his energies elsewhere in the city. When word of his work got out, people were more inclined to cooperate. The city. 
We've been so preoccupied with Batman's last case, we've neglected the rest of Gotham. Gotham may not know Batman is gone, but it certainly feels his absence. There has been a marked increase in gang-related crime. Not to mention Oswald's own business dealings. Maybe if we mess with those, plus a few other crimes, he'll feel like talking. You've also received messages from Lucius Fox and Detective Montoya. They may be able to help. Thanks, Alfred. Guess sometimes I need to look at things through Batman's eyes. Funny. He used to say the same thing about Batgirl. What's a gal like you doing in a place like this? Same as you. Visiting an old friend. I keep waiting for him to step down and, I don't know, give some inspiring speech. Tell us to get back to work. Jesus, Jim. You would have hated this. They put you on an actual damn pedestal. Maybe he'd understand. He always said people needed symbols. Something to believe in. Yeah, but we both know he meant you bats. <sighs> Not him. Except with a squared up jawline and better glasses. They changed his face? Yeah, it's hard to tell from here, but it looks nothing like him. We had him back. Yeah. Me too. See you later, Jim. That girl. He looks just like I remember. Not the bad I was expecting to see, but if he trusts you, so will I. Likewise. I assume you've got something in mind. Fill me in. Well, since we lost Gordon, some cops are back to playing dirty again. Kane doesn't like it, but she's not doing much to stop it either. So I've heard. She's not half the commissioner he was. I know Batman was helping Gordon clean up the force. But now any cops who used to be on Gordon's team are getting their asses handed to them. The gangs are ambushing them because they won't take bribes, and dispatchers are giving them the worst assignments because they make trouble for everyone else. Hoping the gangs will do their dirty work for them, that's... horrible. Look, I hate to ask, but can you keep an eye on cops when they're facing off against the gangs? I know a lot of my fellow officers have issues with vigilantes, but they need the help. Helping is what I do. And those who actually care about Gotham will hopefully see that we're on the same side. Thanks. I'll try to get you some resources to help you protect everyone in Gotham, not just us. Sounds good to me. No place like it, is there, Mr. Fox? <laughs> you trying to give me another heart attack? Batman taught you everything, huh? Just the important things. 
Sneaking up on your allies, for one. But not how he managed to be in five places at once. I feel like if I look away, everything turns to chaos. You're getting there. The bat doesn't fall far from the belfry. From what I've seen, anyway. Um, thank you? Don't thank me yet. Nometra and I always knew that something like this could happen. When I left Wayne Tech, we kept some research going. There are a lot of eyes on you now. No one's looking at Fox Tech. As long as I got a breath between the guilds, you'll still have everything you need to carry on Batman's legacy. Speaking of which... These flowers are gorgeous. It's Luke's design. A custom bird to help you get around a little quicker. Hefty enough to support exactly one hero. With this, the sky really is the limit. Now you can thank me. Thank you so much, Mr. Fox. Here's what I don't get. How come you had to serve your sentence while the rest of your rich friends got a free pass? They were favored. I wasn't. Who'd you piss off? Well, no one talks about them. Not a whispered word is said. The Court of Owls isn't real. <laughs> Club. Yep. Where the super rich go for shits and giggles. Might be worth a peek. Personally, I stay far away from that raptor's nest. But it's fine if I head in there. I lost years of my life to Blackgate. You go do what you do best. Just don't tell them I sent you. Colonel Kane. Sergeant Pennyworth. I'm sorry I had to push our meeting so late. Work never seems to stop in this city. Oh, I can certainly relate. The paperwork hasn't let up since Bruce's passing. <sighs> yeah. I still can't believe it. Burying Bruce was the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah. Do you remember what I told you after Martha and Tommy? You said, life matters when death matters. We take the living for granted until they're gone. I don't know what the Wayne Foundation will do without Bruce. I trust Master Grayson has been helpful? As you adjust? Yeah, he sure has. Dick had his first investor call the other day. I'm surprised how well he did. Every day I find... You geezers escape from the old folks' home. Don't you know it's dangerous out here at night? Every day I find new reasons to be proud. Empty your pockets or I empty the gun. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Quite the about face. 
That punk didn't know who he was messing with. Come inside. We'll have a drink. Catch up. Don't have to twist my arm. Let's not be long, though. I wouldn't want anyone to worry. How deep does this rabbit hole go? Death has cleared the way for our new acquisition. Good. However, do try to be careful where you let them dig, my dear. As for that other issue, we've already bribed the senators. I can assure your bill will pass early next month. Wonderful. I am bored dealing with things. I'm sorry, Madam. We need to get you to safety. Welcome back. Had a good time rubbing elbows with the beautiful people. Not exactly my cup of tea. What do you want, Oswald? Straight to the point. I like that about you. So, how's about a little partnership? I'll pass. I prefer to stay on the legal side of things. As much as possible, anyway. <laughs> you misunderstand me, friend. As the owner of a respected establishment, I have an interest in keeping the streets safe. You could help. By weeding out your competition. Uh, I'm not in the crime business anymore. So if I came across any unusual gear, I'd be obliged to turn it over. Upstanding citizen that I am. Fine. But I'm doing this for the people of Gotham, not for you. 
Well, that's the sp Did you know that Bruce was looking into the court? I didn't. There were few things he kept from me, but this was unfortunately one of them. For me too. We managed to log some voice recordings of the court, but they're difficult to make out. You sure? You just forget to hit play. Tim. You know, you weren't the first Robin, kid. Or the second. A bunch of files got corrupted. I'll run some diagnostics, see what I can recover. Let's see if Master Bruce left us any more clues. Margie, the tattooed lady, would tell us stories about the court back at Haley's Circus. Used to say they were watching and they'd steal us away if we gave a bad performance. Always assumed it was just circus legend. Not at all. There are a number of references to the court in Gotham's history, but nothing concrete. I can't authenticate any of these sources. Supposedly some wingnut wrote a tell-all book about them. But it's a legend in and of itself, so... Shame, really. Such a work would have made a wonderful addition to the library. The earliest version of the court rhyme is from the 1700s. And says they're after the Fountain of Youth. <laughs> Seem pretty kill-happy for people who want eternal life. Those aren't mutually exclusive. There were a lot of bodies in that pit. And one of them was holding this. Might open something useful. Our scans revealed an isotope embedded in the metal. It definitely has a match. It's a key. So? Let's find the door. Visit him. I could what? He went to yours when you could visit his grave. You haven't. I'm not the one staring at the, you know. Sometimes you're an idiot, Grayson. Alfred? Richard? know more than anyone that being a leader has a cost. You needn't shoulder it all alone. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You know, at times, you can be much like Bruce. I'm nothing like him. <clears throat> Of course not. So unlike him, you would never push through an injury. I'm fine. <clears throat> See? I'm good. 
knowing when to take the help that's offered is a sign of a good leader. It's clear you don't understand your place. We earned our power. We shaped Gotham into the great city she is today. We are the protectors, not you. You're just bats. And I'll devour bats. Court of Owls is watching, from inside of Gotham's walls. They lurk in every shadow, and they rule you, one and all. You knew. All along you knew, and you never told Bruce about the threat to Gotham. When I was still part of the League, we observed the court's growth in Gotham. Now you can see the city's rotten core. They're mining something. Something that seems like it might come from a Lazarus pit. A foul substitute for the true miracle. A contaminated extract. For centuries, the court has been looking for a fountain of youth. Instead, they found the makings of undying monsters. Guess we know how the Talons are cooked up, then. Thanks for that. But... Why leave the court digging? Why not offer them a Lazarus Pit? Then control them from the inside. <laughs> Even in their current debased state, the League would never descend to such banality. 
and the court's greed and corruption prevent them from ever mastering the secrets of the Lazarus Pits. You don't treat the Lazarus Pits any different than the court. Oh, those are some harsh words. After all, your friend Jason benefited. What about what he wanted? Jason had no say in what you did to him. I suppose gratitude was too much to expect in exchange for another stab at life. You don't get to talk about gratitude right now, Talia. With Bruce gone, the court's operation grows. The League of Shadows will raise Gotham to the ground unless you silence the court. I know you, Talia. You just want us to get rid of the boys so you can do whatever you want. What's your endgame here? I'll do what I can to distract the League. And your path to the Court of Owls will be clear. Hey, Alfred, did the city records turn up anything? They didn't. According to the city permits, there's been no mining in Gotham City since the cauldron was completed. Judging from what we found last night, they've been digging down there for centuries. Hmm. Give this a listen, Alfred. Babs managed to repair some of the court voice recordings. Dionysium brought the Talons back to life. Sort of. Dionysium's basically weak as hell Lazarus pit water. Brings back motor functions, but free will's as good as gone. So what is a Talon exactly? Some kind of feral zombie assassin? We've all seen weirder shit. Maybe. Feral zombie? Sounds like Jason, all right. I recognize a voice. The older woman is Constance Cobblepot, I'm fairly certain. And the others? More difficult to say. Maybe if I heard them in person. In person? Tim, put the waveforms on the screen. It's hard to find a match with all the damage and voice modulation. Maybe the matching system would have better luck if- We match what we have against the live voices. Fun, but how do we find these jackasses? Two words, Orchard Hotel. The Masquerade, the event of the season. This year's dedicated to Master Bruce. Gotham's rich, dress up, and pretend they're humanitarians. I've been a few times. So it's Dirtbag Central. With so many of Gotham's elite together, security at the Masquerade will be tight. Finding out their plans first would give you an important advantage. I'll tweak our masks to record telescopic audio. If we can get a good vantage point, we may be able to put some faces to these mystery voices. Sounds like our kind of party. We're way overdue for a rematch, Mr. Todd. Whoa. You got the Horror Classics expansion pack. How could I turn down scares? And beats. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> New challenger. Next level, pit of despair. Get ready. Whoa. The Lazarus Pit? Yeah. yeah. It's stupid. I'll be fine. 
It's not stupid. You died. It's okay to not be okay with that. Know what? I'm hungry. I'll get some takeout from Big Billy Burger. You want your usual? One bacon ultra belly combo coming up. I'll be right back. Hey. Thanks, Babs. I had a feeling this day was coming. You wouldn't believe the things that I heard at the hotel. Yeah, the court seems to like their privacy. Shit, they're real? That explains the masks. Look, one of my guys was feeding them info. And you know what? You should probably have all the same intel, too. Hope you got a good therapist. And thanks for the drive. This city is going to the birds, I swear. I've uploaded the data we got from Hendrix. It should be ready soon. I've seen Bruce make that same face when he got stuck on a case. What's on your mind? Everything starts with Ra's al Ghul attacking Batman, but I, I can't figure out how it connects. You've never had to fight the League, have you? Raish is, was, a fanatic. He formed the League of Shadows centuries ago to root out corruption all over the world. His philosophy, if you want to call it that, is that he should destroy things to build them back up. He's wiped out multiple cities over the centuries. He set his sights on Gotham. Batman stopped him. He was impressed. So he named Bruce his heir. That suddenly, even though Bruce said no thanks. But it meant Raish left Gotham alone. That is until he showed up and... Gross. Talia says Raish was behaving erratically when he died. Yeah. I put money on that not being the whole story. Hang on. What if our starting point is earlier? Batman died while he was investigating the Court of Owls. You think Raish found out about it? But why come after his heir? Raish cares about two things. Rooting out corruption and protecting the Lazarus Pits. So if the court was using an extract from the pits to create talents... Raish blows a gasket, steps in himself. Things escalate, both he and Bruce end up dead. And without Batman keeping a lid on Gotham's corruption, the court starts to stretch its wings. The League follows Raish to Gotham, and there's nobody to stop them from attacking the court. Gotham City becomes ground zero for a goddamn war and no Batman to save it. I guess that's our job now. Yeah. It is. And we know what we need to do. We root out the court, and we keep the League away from Gotham. I really miss it.
Hand me that cooling. Did it hurt, Jason? <laughs> when I fell from heaven? <laughs> when you came back to life, did the Lazarus pit hurt? It changed me. Lazarus isn't going to bring Bruce back, Tim. Who's to say he doesn't want us to try? I... Okay. Bruce isn't this bike. You can't just change everything out and expect things to work like they did. Then what am I supposed to do? Try grieving. of Gotham. May I please have your attention. It is my absolute pleasure to present our host for the evening. Host? In an owl mask? Ten dollars says that's the voice of the court. Thank you all for the warm welcome. But tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons. Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the Playboy. I knew his charity. A brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You've helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. So you made it here, all by yourself. You're trying to destroy Gotham. I can't let that happen. Destroy Gotham? No, we're trying to save her. Preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. You talk like you weren't just another villain. Hiding behind a mask. The only one hiding behind a mask is you, Tim. Jacob Kane? How, how? How do you know? I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives. 
trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just, our court is quieter about it. The people of Gotham aren't puppets. When they find out you're pulling their strings, they're not gonna like it. Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends, the same enemies. It's madness. You're not serving us. Except Robin doesn't kill people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. For protectors of Gotham, you sure murder a lot of your friends. Kurt Langstrom, his assistant? Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce used his fortune to fight for this city. You fight for yourself. He never would have stood for this. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death, just like you. I'm nothing like you, Jacob. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Langston. bigger problems right now. Just stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next. The slaughter of some of our best and brightest at the Orchard Hotel is a new low for the city of Gotham. It is time for the real heroes, the GCPD, to step up and restore order in our city. To take it back. Yeesh. Surprisingly, Commissioner Kane isn't a match for any of the voices we collected. Hey! She may not be a court member, but the commissioner could still be helping them. She did marry Jacob. Catherine is probably not aware of her husband's secret. I know Jacob well, and have never had even the slightest suspicion. Colonel Asshole fooled everyone. Even Bruce. The other people we matched at the ball. John Wycliffe, Isabella Haas, Maria Powers. All killed at the hotel, by the way. Colonel Kane's the only member we know survived for sure. And probably old lady Cobblepot. She's unaccounted for. And the court is clearly much bigger than Jacob Kane and Constance Cobblepot. The almighty voice was right, you know. No one will believe a nursery rhyme's been pulling Gotham's strings for so long. But people will believe that Jacob Kane conspired to murder Langstrom. We have the evidence to prove it. Let's get this to Detective Montoya. See if it's enough for her to build her case. I'll be sure to include our list of known members, dead or otherwise. We need to be careful about this. Jacob will be waiting for us to try something. Someone should talk to Talia. The court and the League are clearly out to kill each other. And let's be ready when we're caught in between them. Does the statue of my dad look like him? No. Finally. Somebody else around here who's angry. Bruce is dead. The Court of Owls is real. 
The League of Shadows is running around Gotham. And you're all trying to pretend everything's normal. This isn't just about the League. Or the court. I can't remember Dad's face. Every time I think of him, he just looks like that stupid statue. And? And I have a photographic memory. Where I used to. How can I be Batgirl? Solve crime? Fight bad guys? If I can't trust my own brain. You stay angry. And you aim that anger square at every wrong in the world. At least that's what I do. But then... Thanks, Jason. No problem. That girl. <laughs> Because your league killed a lot of people at that ball. Does this look like my league? Did they decapitate the court? Did you? No. The voice managed to escape during the fight. Then the league will keep attacking, regardless of collateral damage. The court's not gonna let that slide. They'll fight back. How many people will have to die while they wage war in Gotham? Countless. The league will decimate the city. And the court is preparing something even more impressive. Which is? Langstrom wrote that living subjects could create more powerful talents. I don't want to be around when they get out. Anything else you'd like to share about Langstrom? As much as I've liked our chats, Gotham is getting decidedly unfriendly. Don't come looking for me. Was wondering when you'd show up. Wanted to give you enough time to go through the files I sent. Some pretty serious shit here. A secret society that controls Gotham? With Jacob Kane at the head? Don't forget a healthy dose of murder. I'd say you were off your game. If it didn't make so much damn sense. I've seen so many shady things over the years, and this... <sighs> explains every single one of them. So let's put a stop to it. Once and for all. Too many corrupt cops on the force for me to just arrest him. If I had someone I could actually trust on the case, I might be able to get some solid evidence. You've got someone you can trust. Let me find out which ones you can't.
code of owls has sentenced you to die. <laughs> Talons, the labyrinth, all punishment for exposing the court. Hmm. To think Jacob Kane ever thought we could be on the same side. The labyrinth wasn't just meant to kill us. The court wanted to get in our heads. It might have worked. We'll be okay, Tim. Will we? Batman didn't kill people, but where would he stand on soldiers lining up to be reborn as these monsters? I used to be dead. You think I'm a monster? We have one setback. And this is where you go, Tim? Murder? I get steering him away from killing people, but the labyrinth was more than a setback, Babs. Don't talk about me like I'm not here. You're not Bruce. None of you are. Enough! Gotham practically lined up to kill Batman. Every time Bruce came home, bloodied, near death, I patched him up, just as I now do for you. He was often angry, but he never stooped to their level. And neither will you. Alfred's right. Batman had a code. No matter how tough this gets, we can't betray it. The court is made up of Gotham's founding families. They'll protect their own like only family will. They may be related. But they aren't family. Not like we are. The evidence we uncovered against Kane at the hotel is pretty much bulletproof. Then our best course of action isn't war, it's prosecution. I don't think Kane's gonna honor a warrant. He will if we help the cops serve it. The same cops currently gunning for every cape in Gotham? I can think of at least one still on our side. This is it. Alfred's playing right 
into Robin's trap. Mate in two. Wait, how, how'd you... An old way. It's how Alfred wins. Teach me. Robin must discover his own way to win. Robin thinks that sounds way harder. You hiding things from us, Drake? Maybe it's drugs. Or plutonium. I mean, he is a teenager. A chess set? That looks familiar. Aren't those Bruce's? Yep. Custom made. The knights even have bad ears. Would you look at that? They do have bad ears. I got them from Wayne Manor. I know it's dangerous, but I was careful and no one saw me. That's a big risk for a chess set. Everything we salvaged from the manor belonged to Batman. I thought we could use a bit more Bruce. We have a guest. Is that a cat? How did a cat get past our security protocols? It wouldn't be the first cat to find its way past the bat's walls. Have you actually seen it? Not yet, but I suspect if we start leaving food out for him, we may find ourselves with a new addition to the bat family. I wonder what cats like to eat. Maybe one of the others can pick up some food on patrol. A cat? In the belfry. Huh. I'm going to read everything I can so it doesn't scratch me. Montoya, how are things looking? I've got enough evidence to lock Kane up for years. It's the warrant that's the problem. The judge doesn't agree with the charges? I've been to see every judge I know and no one will sign it. They're scared. They don't want to be on Kane's bad side. Do you think Judge Moreno would cooperate? She's put away a lot of powerful people in the past. Elena was one of the first names on my list. But I guess things got bad over that whole Chelsea Tunnel case. She's gone into hiding. Finding people's one of my specialties. I'll ask around. Someone must know where she is. Get that warrant signed, and you know I'll serve it. Thanks for keeping an eye out. Elena Moreno, are you all right? They were gonna kill me. Just like they killed my brother, poor Alex. All this because I wouldn't close construction on the Chelsea Tunnel? The Court of Owls? Yep. Damn it. They are real. And Jacob Kane is pulling the strings. We have enough to bring him in. You just have to sign the warrant. I'll sign it. People like that can't be allowed to terrorize this city. I'm glad you agree. I could escort you to a safe location if you want. Someone's already on their way. I knew the freaks couldn't keep this up, so I called a friend. Thank you. And good luck, Robin. Is the blindfold really necessary? Not anymore. you can make it. Welcome to the Belfry. You're back, girl. <laughs> did your father know? If he did, he never said. But now you know. If you're gonna help us take down Jacob Kane, we need to trust each other. Dick Grayson. 
Well, I guess you're Nightwing then. Is it that obvious? It's pretty obvious. You don't even like do a voice or anything. Robin. I don't think we've met out of costume. Actually, we've met. Like, five times. Oh, yeah. Tim Drake, right? We done laying our cards on the table? We got a plan to go over. Jason Todd. The dead walk among us. I get that a lot. You get what we needed? The judge actually signed off on the Jacob Kane charge. Conspiracy to murder Langstrom. Some solid detective work. If you could get Kane out of that hidey hole, I can make sure every honest cop in Gotham is waiting out front. Huh. But that won't be easy. This building is basically a tank. Oh, we know. Armored facade, anti-aircraft guns on the roof. That's why we have drones. I assume you don't have a permit for that. We absolutely do not. Gotta admit, Pennyworth, I was kinda hoping you were Batman and just retired or something. Hmm. While I'm flattered, the truth is unfortunately more grim. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. So, about that plan. The plan? Yes. You're gonna love it. To start, you'll rendezvous at the rally point in sight of the target, Kane Industries. Here we go. Everyone ready? I got the drones. Street level. You're doing what Bruce did. Fumbling in the dark, thinking you know what's best for Gotham, but you're fighting the wrong battle. The League of Shadows are fanatics who will slaughter half the city to purify it. So your solution is to build an army to fight the League? To save Gotham from itself. Gotham needs hunters, our new knights. They thrive in the shadows like Bruce did, like you do. But unlike you, they know their place. Submarine, that's just tacky. <clears throat> to save your father. Gotham won't accept the court is real, let alone believe I'm the voice. Doesn't matter, as long as they believe you killed Langstrom. And what if I did? Huh? Where's the reporter who'll cover it? Or the cop who'll arrest me, much less the judge who'll convict me. The judge couldn't make it, but the rest are waiting outside for you. My wife is still the commissioner. 
I'll be free before sunup. Montoya. One Jacob Kane as requested. Almost intact. <laughs> Working with Vigilante's detective? Catherine will have your badge for this. Hell of a trade if it puts you away. <laughs> Open your eyes. These corrupt cops are conspiring with vigilantes to put me away. Tell them I'm innocent. Don't give me that shit, Jacob. Don't you say another word. I can Jacob! Jacob! <laughs> You're stupid, stupid man. We need to get these people out of here. Find who did this. Search everywhere. Search the rooftops. Go! We had Jacob Kane in custody, and you murdered him. No. We murdered him. The League of Shadows thanks you for your collaboration. Bruce was never this helpful. <laughs> you lied to us. You were in charge all this time. You've been planning to take over the League for years. Decades. I have a clarity of vision that my father lacked. Without him, the League can reach its full potential. You can kill him yourself? And save us some trouble? I didn't need to. I'd tell you to leave. But somehow I don't think you're going to. The Orchard Hotel was just the beginning. Our work in Gotham will serve as a beacon, a warning of what is to come. In a torrent of blood, we will purge corruption from this city, then the world. I can see monologuing runs in the family. Trust me, it's not that intimidating. Then I won't waste your time. I've only let you live this long because you were useful. You do so love being useful. I've done more for Gotham than you ever could. So you can go now. Even Bruce would tell you. Nothing can stop the reckoning that's in motion. Farewell. Figures. Jacob in custody. We were finally going to bring him in. And 
Now, she's got everything she needs to start the next phase of her plan. She'll go after our allies first, to keep us out of the way. Exactly. That's why I already sent them a warning. Lucius is holing up in a secure location with a small security team. And Montoya is scrambling people she trusts. It won't be enough. They'll die without our help. League attacks. All over the city. It's already started. These loads are pretty hot. Are you sure the velocity isn't too high? It'll be fine. Besides, it's not like I'll be shooting anyone who doesn't deserve it. You're at the upper safety limit. That doesn't leave you a lot of margin for error. You've seen the body armor criminals wear. Can't afford to play nice in an arms race. Not all our enemies wear armor. Uh-huh. If you believe these rounds are safe, then prove it. Shoot me. Fine. Maybe they are a little hot. Why don't you crunch your numbers and tell me what the best load should be? Great. Oh, while we're at it, we should look at polymer volume and composition. Hmm. The decreased velocity will impact expansion, but if we tweak the gel compound, we can make up for it. That is some wild shit. <laughs> I knew you'd been in it, but damn, Alfred. <laughs> After my last tour, I chose to come to Gotham. That path led me to a life I'd never imagined. <sighs> Tech-powered street gangs, secret societies, heroes in capes. <laughs> Sounds so ridiculous when you say it out loud. I thought I was done with war. All I did was trade one for another. The combatants change. The battlefronts shift. But the costs still add up. Both have the scars to show for it. Bruce blamed himself for your death, and for the darkness that followed. But even in the worst of times, we saw that you had the potential to emerge as a better man. Some days I barely feel human. Let alone a better man. He believed in you. And was proud of how far you'd come. Especially after everything you've been through. Check it, Tim. 
I'm opening this can, and everyone isn't covered with tomatoes. Ha ha. It wasn't my fault. Hey, the sauce still turned out great. Yeah, we all ate it. Jason, chop chop. Someone needs to get on those onions. You can't have a sauce without onions. Sure. But it's gonna need a little kick. I've got an idea. You'll love it. And extra garlic, please. Now you're talking. Mmm. Thank you. I thought it was a goner for a second there. Are you okay? I'll be fine. I called Fox Tech. Another team should be here soon. Then I'll have some phone calls to make. If I'd known what would happen... I won't let them get away with it. Good. I've scoured all of my networks. No sign of Talia anywhere. The League is still in Gotham. She's here. We just have to find her. Goddamn ninjas. So... This is weird. Weird like undead talons coming back to life, or weird like... Uh, how do I keep losing this freaking game? Weird like there was this reroute situation that I was tracking. But then there were fluctuations, and now... I think I found Talia. What were you tracking? At first it looked like nothing, but now... Whoa. That's a lot of power that's been siphoned. Not necessarily definitive, except... Except? The power was diverted... here. Is an Arkham empty? Like, you know... <laughs> collapsed? It has been for a couple of years. And with our missing ninja friend... Here. She's only been there for a few weeks. Maybe it won't be too bad. Or, this is a trap. She's too good to just let us find her. But we have a lead. We do have a lead. Yeah. Talia wasn't here just to mess with us. She's got something else up her sleeve. Well, guess it's time to go back to that asbestos-encrusted shithole. Good. <gasps> What's a creature like you doing in a place like this? Get 
us on the line and send in the drone. I'll meet them en route. Go! <laughs> You know, you really should not be fighting with those injuries. Chaos in Gotham City tonight after another vicious attack in Robinson Park. There are reports across the city of flying creatures wreaking havoc. Police are urging citizens to stay calm and remain indoors. I need to get back out there. The others are already on patrol. Once you are ready... I'm ready. When you met me, I was the most afraid I'd ever been. I had nothing. And then this city became my home. Its people became my family. I finally felt safe. Gotham gave me everything. It deserves to feel safe too. I'm certain you already know what must be done. Talia al Ghul can't hide from me. She has access to a Lazarus pit in Gotham City. And I'm going to find it. like you have me in five. <laughs> I'll get you next time, though. Bruce's chess set. I carved these pieces myself. I even gave the knights bat ears. I noticed. Jason wasn't having the best game, huh? I promoted a queen, and was about to walk all over him. I don't pick a queen when I promote a pawn. I suppose you choose a knight then. That was always Bruce's move. A little obvious, even for him. I like the rook, actually. It's a protector, and a major piece. But people ignore it. They get distracted by more obvious threats until... Checkmate. Plus, castling is basically teleporting. How unorthodox. It's how Robin wins. <laughs> reasons. Did you know, child? A Lazarus pit can be used for more than just saving people from the brink of death. It has many purposes. In fact, a Lazarus pit can make a mind more malleable. 
more pliable to suggestion. So you made an army of zombies. Is that the plan? Sometimes it's about more than your army. Sometimes it's about having the right general leading it. I like my brain the way it is. Thanks. <laughs> Like your precious Batman, were never able to save Gotham. I finally solved that problem. By repeated exposures to the Lazarus Pit. Unlike my father, I used that exposure to free Bruce's mind from his ridiculous oath. And you, you're right where we need you. Bruce's last test. Then we lead our new league into glory, remaking the world. Defeat this pretender. Take back the city that is your birthright. Your Uncle Jacob is the leader. Well, was. The court's at war with the League. And since Raish is dead, Talia took over. She's been throwing you in the pit and pulling you back out to wear you down. Wait! You found the Court of Owls. You'd be so proud of us, Bruce. We're working so well as a team. <coughs> No, 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 no! Don't give in! That's what she wants! This pretender pulls you away from me. Come back to me, beloved. Yes! Good. Stay away from him! Bruce! After all I've done, you are to be my champion, not his! <laughs> Can't die again. Gotham is not ready. You're ready. You were always smarter than me, Robin.
Why are you laughing? You? Tim Drake. I'm about to watch a careless Robin be torn to pieces by a parliament of owls. Oh no. The fault is with you, Talia Al Ghul. Your abomination led us here. And now you and it will die. <laughs> You will never bring death to an Al Ghul. Oh no. So the court lives forever! There is no time where I let you get a Lazarus pit. Go! Deal with the pain. Help me. Become your own heroes. The knights that Gotham really needed. <coughs> Together you're stronger than the Batman ever could be. I'm so proud of all of you. And I'm sorry. What are you doing? You might want to run. Let you. 
The explosion in the cave destroyed the Lazarus pit. Now that it's gone, the Court of Owls has mostly vanished. Without a shot at immortality, they know they're vulnerable. They'll lay low and regroup. Talia is also nowhere to be found. She's hiding somewhere and planning her next move. She left behind a small team of League assassins. I don't know if they're here to watch us or keep us busy. Now in Talia, it's both. We've found the wreckage of the Batwing. He's... He's gone. Gotham City still needs me. The court will act like nothing happened. But I'm still watching. And I'll make sure they know. Bringing Jacob Kane's crimes to light was just the start. The Court of Owls is at war with the city and its people. And they're not about to stop. But they are done, hiding inside Gotham's walls. Because when I find them, they'll have nowhere to hide. People of Gotham, I know you won't let fear control your lives. And I am giving you my word that you will never have to.